Alright everyone, welcome back here. Let me adjust this nonsense. There we go. Alright. So we're back. This is DNA's Classics Lounge. For those that just missed, we just finished live off a big night for NAW Wrestling. So for those that are here from that, thank you so much. And uh, this is DNA's Classics Lounge. Tonight's six-pack challenge, if you will, uh, is all because of you guys. So we're playing six games tonight. And we're doing 20 questions. Again, 500 strands to enter. And if you work together, anyone that voted, or not voted, but I guess asked a question, if you all figure out the game that I'm thinking of with the yes or no responses, you get 10,000 strands. So, can everyone hear me? Do you see me? Are we live? Are we good? No? <laughs> Let's kick things off, shall we? This is The Little Mermaid. versus we see. You guys are just arguing, that's fine. So here we go, Little Mermaid. Never noticed you, I guess, insignificant. Ariel, princess of the sea, fell in love with Eric at first sight. She asked Ursula to make her human so she can meet him. He fell in love with her too and planned to marry her. Then one day, Sebastian, Flounder, and Scuttle came to see Ariel in a big hurry. They explained that Ursula had cast a spell over the fish of the sea, so they would have to do what she wanted. If she wasn't stopped, she would probably take over the whole sea. Let me know if the volume of the game is good. If it needs to be louder. I'm going to adjust that a little bit. Some of these retro sounds are really neat to listen to. Ariel decided to go to Ursula's castle to try and release the fish from Ursula's spell. She explained to Eric that she was a mermaid. Hey yo! Hey yo, thanks for the host, MX. And that she must try to save her friends. Eric tried to convince her not to go, but she turned back into a mermaid and dove into the sea and began to swim towards Ursula's castle. Stage one, Sea of Coral. All right. So it looks like my main attack here is this little glitter thing. Keep in mind that some of these games I played as a kid and some of these I've never, ever played. Anyone here have, if anyone here has played this, backseat gaming is allowed for this show. I want your advice, your tips, and uh, really just to help me get through this. And yes, 20 questions is officially live. As soon as we go on air with Classics Lounge, you see me on that screen. You can start asking your questions. Hey yo! So it's yes or no answers from me to figure out a video game of any time period. That's why you gotta ask the questions and narrow it down to see what I'm thinking. Hey yo! Thanks for the host, Batman Rated. Uh, I think I've played it, but I don't remember anything about it. You know, I've played this, I wanna say once or twice. I don't remember really anything about it. So I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just kinda going. You guys voted for this though, so hopefully it's it's not terrible. I don't know if I'm supposed to 
to do with the shell. I don't know if I'm supposed to take it somewhere or what. Uh, I'm supposed to throw it at the treasure chest, and I threw it upwards. Too on the young side to have touched any of these. You're never too old or too young for retro games. Uh, that's why I encourage everyone to get your hands on uh, some of these if you find some of them interesting. It's ultimately why I do the Classic Lounge, because uh, there are some good ones and there are some bad ones. So hopefully I inspire someone to potentially play a game that they may have never seen or even thought of playing from this show. Only 20, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> that's fine. There we go, yeah, see, that's what I'm supposed to do here. Some starfish. I mean, thank you. So kicking things off with the Little Mermaid, obviously a Disney classic. And this was we're playing this on the NES, so the Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh God, we got a shark! I'm assuming he lunges at me. Yeah, I was right in that assumption. Assuming I have to throw these things at him. Come back. 20 wish you were that age again. Yeah, me too. It was a good age. Oh. Bugger. This is honestly, um... More difficult than it looks. <laughs> We'll figure this out. Got him once. Mario, Mario Bros. kind of guy. Now it's just Rocket League and WWE. I love. I mean, I I grew up with the first system being um, the Atari. So. The absolute limit of being too young. No, my first console I had was an Atari and an NES. So like, oh. All right, let's try this again. Oh, what? Okay. We only have so many hits there. We have our health bar and there. Three hearts. Three more. Oh God, we are doing even worse now. How, how are we doing worse? Try again. <laughs> you know, I never said I was good at games. I just said I enjoy games. So, um, stick around. <laughs> and if anyone wants to kick off 20 questions, again, the grand prize is 10,000 strands. Risk reward, right? So, if anyone wants to risk, work together as a team before you ask the questions. All you gotta do is ask at least one question, and then you get... Oh god. Oh god. You don't even have 500 strings to wager. <laughs> ah. Can I say we're doing terribly? We got him twice in one turn that time. Not bad. Come on, fishy. I don't have enough time to get him again, though. No. See, these games are all about timing. All about timing. And that was horribly timed. As you can see. Come on. Ugh! First question, Xbox game. Xbox game? No. So question one, Xbox game. Okay, we failed that turn. So one, Xbox game, no. Hey! Am I supposed to get that or no? <laughs> so we cleared the stage. Not bad, not bad.
Ursula is going toward the sunken ship. Watch out, Ariel. Sunken ship? I mean, this, like, this is pretty good for NES. Like, the visuals are not bad. The controls... I mean, there's two buttons, right? Oh, you burst into other fish. Why do all the fish hate me? Oh, I can't. Alright. So I'm assuming... Oh, I can't hurt you? That's annoying. Ah. Just don't tell your mom. Oh, we got our first game over. That's alright. We'll play until we run out of continues. If that's even a thing. Whatever comes first. Continues or a half hour. So I think I have to go up here. And get this barrel. And push it down. Something to do with the barrel, but I can't do anything with the barrel. So I guess forget about it. Anyone want to ask question two? Question two. It's not an Xbox game. Again, if you figure it out, 10,000 strands as long as you've asked at least one question. So I need shells to open up these chests. Oh, look at this. But I can't get through. Come on. Second question. Is it a game from the 90s? Is it a game from the 90s? Yes. Yes, it is a game from the 90s. So two questions. So, if y'all can do me a favor, when you ask your question, put the number, question number in front of your question. So like for the next one, three, dot, then your question. That's the case you're too young. <laughs> oh, I can dive out of the water. Did you see that? Can I dive up there, though, without dying? <laughs> Look at that! That was neat. You were born in the 2000s? I was not. So, question three. three. Is it a RPG? It is not technically... An RPG now. That's not defined as an RPG. So that was three, everyone. Ah, oh, stupid mistake. Uh, I don't know if Locke programmed the exclamation point questions for this one as he bailed out on us. He has to work tomorrow. So. So I'm going to ask if it's a platformer. MX doesn't have strands. Oh man, MX, you're going to miss out on the 10,000. If you're unable to ask a question. Uh, so not an Xbox game. Uh, not an RPG. Um, but it was... It was from the 90s. When do you get your strands for hosting? Generally it uh, applies within the day. So, I don't know how quick it is, to be honest with you. It's all automated through through Twitch. It's just a, a, a plug-in. So, like, we, we, I mean, we have control over things, but not, like, full control over the extension itself. Go, 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 go! Ugh. I mean, it's okay if a game came out before you know, your time. You may may have heard of it, you may not have, you know? It's, it's part of the, the fun and the challenge of 20 questions. I hate that I have the heart for, the option for five hearts up there. But I, uh, I know, I know, 
I'm not good at this game. I'm trying not to die. That's the thing about some of these classic games, they look easy. But they're not. Go, go, go. Oh, we got a mistake. Oh, I did not the hit detection on that. Come on. Question, Question four. four. Is it a PlayStation game? Is it a PlayStation game? No. It's not a PlayStation game. So it's not an Xbox game. It's not a PlayStation game. It is a game from the 90s. It's not an RPG. Oh, I did not see it because your question was in the way. <laughs> oh, that one just barely missed me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Trevor says NES games were hard as shit. Yeah, this one is uh, not easy. That's for damn sure. And that one kept respond on me. Got one life. No, come on. Why do you have to tell me that? Oh god. There we go. Boss time. Oh no. <laughs> that man wonders if it's a Mega Drive game. Trevor says, I remember that fight. Well, let's see if we can make it back there again. I think I got the hang of this. Is it a Sega game? Question 5, I believe. Is it a Sega game? No. Not a Sega game. Lock says, have fun. Just wanted to say good luck and good night. Thanks, Lock. Get some sleep, man. Ready says, that leaves the NES. So again, please put the number into the question. The next number is six. So we can track... You gotta consider too, it's, it's, don't think about the console itself, think about a game. The game itself was released in the 90s. Uh, the Genesis Classic, which is a great console. Alright, so we're at the boss. We made it this time, we only had one heart though, we gotta figure out their pattern and how to hit them. What do we do to hit them? Can we hit these little crab thingies? Oh, of course. Ah! Question six. Six. Is it a Pokemon game? Is it a Pokemon game? No. Not a Pokemon game. So six questions. Is it Pokemon? No, it is not Pokemon. Wick has been so long, too long. So no, no Pokemon game. All right, I, I feel confident this is the time that we're gonna beat the boss. What do you guys think? Why can I not do the thing to this? See. Ugh, mistakes are made. No. I'm out of your bubble. Ah, you bastard. Ah, mistakes are made again. Come on. If you leave now, do you forfeit? No, you asked a question. If someone gets it, you'll get it. 
Number seven. Number seven for MXG, is it a platformer? Is it a platformer? Yes. It is a platformer. Again, as long as you've asked one question, you will get 10,000 if they figure it out. So work together. All right, we figured out what to do, how to do it. It's just we have to get good and do it. There we go, and, ah, oh, bugger. Where's he gonna come out? Ah, see, these things, I tell you. Ah, and then we run into stuff. Well, you gotta figure out a game, ask questions. 20 questions, video game, 20 questions. <laughs> come on. Oh, this is such a horrible boss fight. Oh my god, you can do it on an angle? I didn't know that. And then that. There we go, we just shoot up. That'll work. That's not a bad. No, that's fine, that's fine. We got, we got a plan. Shut the button, damn it! Ah, uh, yeah, don't shoot up on stream. Well, we tried. Let's move into our next game. I'll let you guys think about those questions. Make sure, again, to put the number in front of it. Does it take place in a house? Does it take place in a house? It does not. That was what, seven or eight? That was eight? Let me check. Recent events. Yeah, that was eight. So there's eight questions. Uh, does not take place in a bed. So I'm gonna switch over games. Give me uh, a minute, and we'll uh, jump into our next game. <laughs> 